What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. Yesterday, after the Destiny 2 1.1.1.1 update, Jesus, you think they add enough ones? Weapons had changes done to them in the form of adding Masterworks, which I might add is a great addition and a huge step in the right direction for Bungie. Today on what needs to change, I want to talk about the stat mechanics in Destiny 2. At the moment, and I'm not saying that Bungie will add more stats, but the stats that we currently have are mobility, resilience, and recovery. Mobility controls your character's walking speed and strafing, resilience controls how much damage you can take before dying, and recovery controls how fast your health returns to you after taking damage. Almost everyone in the Destiny community can agree that the most useless stat in Destiny 2 out of them all is mobility. Mobility is a huge issue in the game and it's because of the fact that we don't get any boost to speed when it comes to running like we did in Destiny 1 when it came to the agility stat. Yes, there are things out there to help out with your agility in Destiny 2. Weapons like Mita Multitool, which the main perk boosts movement speed, and any other weapon that has lightweight frame on it does the same. I don't know. I may have to do a little testing to see if Mita is faster in movement speed versus lightweight frame in D2. Then again, it's possible that they are at the same speed. But let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see a video on that testing. Now, the issue with Mita is that not everyone wants to use it. The issue with lightweight frame is that some Guardians prefer other perks on their weapons. So how do you fix this issue? Well, this is where the mobility stat needs to change. Bungie needs to add running to the effect of mobility and then the stat would be a lot more useful to many players in PvE as well as PvP. But mobility isn't the only issue when it comes to stats that we get in Destiny 2. The armor we wear also plays a huge part in this. When Destiny 2 started, up until now, any piece of armor that we get has dedicated stats on it. For example, every single Anka Seeker 4 helmet for the Warlock has the same exact stats on it no matter where or how you get it. Yes, you could change the armor perks you use and what I mean is the Mobility Enhancement, Restorative, and Plasteel Reinforcement mods. The problem with this is that we are forced to use gear that we either don't like, look stupid on our character, or if you are actually going for cosmetics, then we are given stats on an armor piece we don't want or need. You see, the Curse of Osiris came out with a lot of new gear, and since I'm in a Warlock, every single piece of Warlock gear we get from Brother Vance has a ridiculous amount of mobility, aka that useless stat that we don't want. What Bungie should do, and this is just a suggestion, is either allow the same gear to drop with different stats, or allow us to reroll armor, or Something that Bungie hasn't ever done before is allow us to choose the stats that we want on our gear as long as it adds up to a specific number for that armor. For example, we'll take the helmet idea again with the Anka Seeker 4. This helmet has a total of 5 points, 2 points in mobility and 3 points in recovery without any armor mods that we add to it. As long as we keep the maximum amount of points invested in the armor, then we should be able to put them where we want. This option is probably the best out of the three because it gives players more customizability with the gear that they want to wear and it'll be easier to maintain in Bungie's database instead of having a pool of the same armor pieces with every combination of different stats and it'll be less exhausting than grinding for materials to use in order to reroll armor. This is pretty much ultimately a win-win solution for both Bungie and us. And it's what I think should and I would like it to happen. I mean, there are tons of possibilities out there, but this is only just to name a few. So let me know what you guys think about the current stat mechanic situation, or if there is anything that you would like to happen for changes. And that fellow guardian brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and share it. Feedback is always appreciated. If you have any ideas for a future video, then let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.